Hello, welcome to Leith's School of Food and Wine in London. We're here with the Head of Nutrition from Sky Pro Cycling, Nigel Mitchell. Here. Hi, Nigel. Hi, yes, sir. Um, now, what we're going to do is have a look through how the cyclists get ready on the Tour de France at the beginning of the day, all the meals and so on. We're going to start with breakfast, I think, Nigel. Tell us what you've got here. Well, what we've got here is a seed mix. So, at breakfast time, we have a real wide range of breakfast foods. And one of the things that we do that's a little bit special that the chef does when he's away on the tour is a seed mix. So we have a, a general mix here. I've got sesame seeds, flax seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. And the idea with this is that this is a really simple way of getting some additional nutrition into the riders. In particular, what these help to give us is some really good quality protein and some really good quality fats. Uh, as we've, everybody knows, we've got essential proteins, essential amino acids, we also have essential fats, and seeds can be a great source of that. Additionally to that, we had some goji berries. So goji berries are originally from China. They're in the same family as the tomato plant. We use these because from a nutritional point of view, they're really high in antioxidants, really high in some of the vitamins as well. But in order to extract that nutrition into the body, what we need to do is put it through a chopper, get it chopped down a little bit, mill it down, and then it's easier to digest, and it mixes in with it, and the taste is really good. So what I'm going to do now is just put these in here and just chop them down. Okay, let's have a go. Okay. So I hope a lot of people won't have a thermomix, obviously. No. At home. What can I use? Food processor, blender, something like that? You can like use that? a food processor. You can use Andel blenders. Okay. Uh, I use I have used Andel blenders with this, uh, but anything that's going to chop them, you have to be careful that you don't over chop. Uh, but I, I just find that this is a, a particularly useful, practical piece of kit okay. that helps us with it. Now, how long are you going to chop them for? Because presumably, if you leave it in for too long, it'll turn into something like yeah. peanut butter, will it? Well, I've asked the chef what consistency, and he just wants it quite a rough chop. So okay. what, I'll, what I'll do with this, I'll chop it for about four seconds, have a little look at it, and see if it needs any more. You can always cut it more. You can't reconstitute <laughs> yeah, it. You can't deconstruct it. Okay. So just make sure that's locked on. So we just... Just have a little look in there. So that's really rough if you want okay. to have a look in there, Ashley. And yep. then what we'll do is we'll give it a little bit more of a, of a whiz. So that's about 10 seconds in total. You yeah, think. I think that this will be perfect now. Okay. So just take that out. So it's really fine milled, actually, isn't it? It's like a powder almost. It's not. This is quite rough. You can make it a lot smoother okay. than that. But that is about... That's how I do it at home. Okay. What you can see there is the goji berries have cut in quite nice and all yep. the seeds are now broken down. So that the, 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 the idea with that milling means that we will absorb all the nutrition from them rather than the seed just passing through the, through the body. Do you want to try a little bit? Yeah, I might do, yeah. So, this, so if you don't mill the seeds, it literally, it'll leave, you'll eat you, it and you just come out the other end. Yeah, you don't digest all of it. And, and the other thing with it is what we do is we, we will mill them freshly on a morning because over time, uh, this, the, the, some of the nutrients start to devalue a little bit, so, okay. so it's done fresh. And what, what people can do is do something, put it in a little zip tie, good for a couple of days then. But a couple of big spoons full of that, mixed in with some natural yoghurt, maybe a few blueberries as well, as okay. I say, can be a really nice snack or, or breakfast. But the guys on the tour, this will be just something they'll sprinkle on top of the cereals. Again, maybe mix in with the yoghurt. Great, Nigel, thank you very much indeed. That's breakfast dealt with, and we'll see you again next time.